welcome to a brand new series on the channel. We're going to call this one the Five Change Challenge. And what we're going to do in this uh, video series is we're going to take a stock tactic available in the game, five changes to it, and then run it through the tester. And this is where you come in. This is a challenge where you need to get involved in the Discord. So you need to join the Discord. The link is down in the description. You need to download the testing database and then do the exact same things that I'm doing and then share your results. So I'll walk you through the process here today in this video, but it's... I think it's got good potential for you to get involved, get more engaged with the content on the channel, make your own tactic, and have it be a nice starting point. I think a lot of people build tactics this way in the beginning, right? They work from one of the base tactics, they make changes until it fits their squad. So that's what we're going to do here today. You only get to make five changes. That's it. That's a TI, a PI, team instruction, player instruction, role change, dragging a player around on the pitch. Like, it doesn't matter. Set pieces, like, whatever you want to do, you get five changes and you can't upload set pieces that doesn't count as one of the changes right you have to go in one of your changes might be left corners are near post right that counts as your change right so it's minimum like effect on the tactic five changes and how can you take that to make the biggest outcome change for the tactic like altogether. I'm going to run one simulation with just the base tactic to give us kind of a baseline of what to expect with no changes. Then we'll run a simulation with my five changes and see how it does uh, comparing. And then we'll talk through what some of those choices are and things like that. But I'm really excited about it. Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment as well on if you're excited to take part in this challenge. And uh, of course, also subscribe to the channel um, as well. So Let's take a dive into the process of how to build your tactic. So today, in our first installment of this series, we're going to use a tactical shape that is very popular with a lot of FM users, and it's one that I haven't touched yet in the Total Tactics series either. So we are going to work with a 4-2-3-1 system. So extremely popular. It's a tactic you see a lot of in real life, um, and I think it'll be fun to play around with it here in this series. So when we will choose a tactical style first, I'm going to choose Tiki Taka, and then one of the base Tiki Taka formations is this 4231 wide. So that is what we're going to select here for this exercise. So with the 4231 wide, we get to make five changes. And the first thing that struck me when I took a look at this earlier is in possession, much shorter and much lower passing. It's just not how I like to roll. And even though I'm not happy about burning two of my changes here right at the beginning, I do think one of the changes is going to need to be both to passing and to tempo. So we're going to switch to shorter and to higher um, on tempo and on passing directness. So still should be retaining lots of possession, but while also moving the ball a little bit faster, taking advantage of the skill level of the players here uh, in the tester. And hopefully, um, you know, that leads to a lot more offense. OK, so we'll go back to the t we'll stay on the team instructions and now check out the out of possession team instructions. Much higher line of engagement and much higher defensive line. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm gonna use my third change on a higher defensive line. It's my preferred uh, depth, sometimes even standard, and move this line of engagement back down to higher, but I don't wanna burn four changes on team instructions. Just three is enough for me, I guess. Um, and then we're gonna switch in over to the player roles and see what we can do here now. It's a reasonably defensive setup, right? A CM defend and a DLP support in the midfield. The wingers are both on support, which I don't love. But we only have five changes, so there's not a lot I can do here to try to like get coax a little bit more offense out of this tactic. So we'll put the CM on attack and just have the DLP kind of be next to him on support to provide a little bit more uh, depth to the midfield. And then I want this inverted winger on attack as well. I'd rather have the invert inside forward be on attack, but the CM attack is going to be driving this channel. The inside inverted inside forward will be kind of supporting it. Maybe make a passing triangle between the CM attack, the AP, and the inverted inside forward. Getting this guy a little bit more advanced uh, is going to help because I want him to separate from the DLP. I want the DLP to have a little bit more room to roam and to kind of play this like high left sided anchor. Um, with the inverted winger closer to the DLF, DLF and closer to the AP. So it's a more advanced uh, passing triangle. So hopefully um, this does the business to get a little bit more 
um, changes, a little bit more goals, and a little bit still maintaining a defensive stability for the tactic. But just to run through them quickly one more time, um, it's the IW on attack, the CM on attack, the defensive line set to higher, and tempo to shorter, and tempo to uh, higher, and then the passing directness to shorter. So those are the five changes. Uh, we'll see what five you come up with as well. Just remember, like you can join the Discord, download the tester there as well, and go through the same process that I just went through um, to set up your own tactic and run it through the tester and see how you do. Um, but here, here's the process you go through next, right? So you're going to quick pick the team and then decide if you want to make any changes. I like Lozano more than Politano, uh, for example. I don't like Stuart Dallas. He's just too slow. I prefer Mario Rui. I don't like Koulibaly. His mentals aren't very good. I prefer Amir Rahmani. So he He's going to make it in. Um, Insigne, Zielinski, Lozano. I don't love Tanali either in this like advanced role. I'd prefer Matteo Piscina, um, who's down here. So we'll get Piscina in there. So there's the 11 that I want. And then I'll go ahead here and clear the subs so that the AI has the ability to fill in the correct subs that they want to use. And then you just click over here on home, my profile, go on vacation, and then make sure you tick both of these boxes. You can set the date to the 13th of May. Um, oops, you got to change the year, which I thought I did. And go to 13th of May and then hit set. And then as soon as I click this button, I've already done this three other times in the other divisions. Um, so this is the fourth one. When I click this, the simulation will start. But you have to do that same process in all four leagues with Napoli. And then you can run your sim. So make the same five changes on all four. Um, who we're going to do next is I'm going to hit this. The magic of the internet is going to start the sim, and then you'll hear right back from me right away with the results of the baseline simulation. So the simulation of the tactic with zero changes. We'll walk through those quickly, um, and then after that, we'll see the results of my changes. So see you in a second. All right, so let's take a look at the default results here. So this is the base tactic with no changes, and it's a little bit rough. You can already kind of tell from these like snapshot pics, pictures in the leagues in focus that the uh, elite teams leagues did not go very well. The balanced team league went slightly better, and the average team league got us sacked. Um, the underdog league, we won the league, but let's talk a little bit about the average teams league really quickly. Getting sacked is unfortunately a bug in our database that we have not had a chance to address. Um, it is possible to get sacked in both the average teams league and the balance league. So that's just kind of an indication that the tactic was so bad that it got sacked. Whatever the manager did after that, I would assume climbed them back up the table. So we'll say that this 57 point benchmark is what you need to beat, but we won't be too like picky on how much you beat it by uh, in the average team league with your changes. So it, we'll, we'll take a look at the results a little bit more in depth, but the sacking is uh, pretty pretty bad for the uh, tactic. But let's take a look at the league table in the Elite League. So finished eighth, uh, only seven wins, conceded 84 goals, only scoring 29. That is rough. That is one of the worst results I've seen. Um, using the tester and this default uh, tactic is not getting it done against good teams. Um, against the Balance League, uh, 13 wins, 8 draws, 15 losses, a minus 2 goal difference, scored 44, that's a small number, but conceded 46, which isn't awful, shows that like maybe there actually is some potential to the defensive setup of this team. Um, and for 47 points, uh, the average teams league had a points total of 57. We don't know how, when, of course, the manager, uh, was fired for this team, um, but only conceded 39 goals, but again, only scored 47. So is that a testament to this AP DLF on attack combo just isn't attacking enough? Will my changes, uh, change this goal scoring for me, uh, like foundations? We'll see. Um, and then in the underdogs league. Uh, we won the league, which is which is good. Uh, 86 points, which is also decent. 
only conceded 19 goals, which is very low, even for a very good tactic in the underdog league. Only scoring 61 is also very low. So low scoring tactic in the underdog teams league, the quality of the squad is enough to really shut down the rest of the teams in this division for an 86 point finish, which is which is very good. I'd, I'd give that like a B um, in the underdog teams league, which is which is reasonable, right? You're looking for over 90 and like a plus 60 goal difference in that kind of area to have like kind of an A minus A tactic in the underdogs league. And this does fall short of that slightly, but, um, you know, a mixed bag of results. We'll go back to the leaks and focus here and just again, point out that you need to beat 26 points in the elite league. Hopefully we can all accomplish that. You need to beat 47 points in the balance league, which we should mostly all be able to accomplish as well. And then don't get sacked in the average teams league and hopefully finish with more than 57 points. And let's see if we can't improve on the underdog league finish. But that's going to be maybe a little bit more difficult to do because um, 86 points is a decent total uh, in the underdog team league. So let's check out how my tactic did. All right, jumping into this and taking a look at my results, and I think we're starting to see just the limitations of what five changes means and how little it can do to turn around a poor performing tactic, which honestly, that's what we saw the first time on the baseline test. So here in my comparison, my five change test, the originally in the Elite League, they had 26 points with a negative 55 goal difference. And here you can see when we click on the expanded league table that I had 32 points with a minus 45 goal difference. So five points uh, better, no, sorry, uh, six points better and a 10 goal difference improvement. So it's not great, right? We're conceding 84 goals and only scoring 39. So it's it needs a lot of work. So that's the elite league. So, okay, a small improvement, but not much of one. In the balance league, I've scored 52 points with a positive three goal difference. The original result was 47 points with a negative two goal difference. So a five point swing on both points and on goals. Not super crazy here. 60 goals, so a little bit more goals scored. 57 conceded um, kind of equals there. You see the three goal difference. And in the balance league, small improvement again, but nothing like incredible. On the average teams league, at least we didn't get sacked. So we did finish fourth on 56 points. Oddly, that is one point less than the sacked team had. So it's hard to say, like, did they finish strong when the AI got to change to a totally different tactic? Probably. Uh, and they, So I'm not really worried about um, the point total. What I am happy with here is the plus 19 goal difference is a big change uh, from the goal difference in the original average teams league. So we have another another tactic where another league where the goal differential swung to the to the good um, and the points total stayed about the same um, on the underdog league, though. It's also, again, roughly the same. So the original league had 86 points with a plus 42 goal difference. We only had 83, but with a plus 47 goal difference. So the like peripheral numbers are a slight improvement. The uh, points total is almost exactly the same. Again, a pretty good underdog really team's result, but not like incredible. Um, so when we go back to the tactic here, this is the uh, let's let's take a look at some of the stats from the elite league where the team did very poorly um, here on the tactic screen. Uh, sort by appearances, and it looks like the goals came from Osiman, as we would have thought, but the only scorer in double digits, and Signe hasn't done very well. Bremer and Ospina, the only players averaging over a 7.0. Um, when we check the same thing in the balanced league, uh, we're looking at 18 points goals from Osiman, and then Insigne, that inverted winger on attack, had 17 uh, goals and 13 assists, which is pretty great. Uh, Tenali, as well as the CM attack, chipped in with seven goals. I forgot to put Piscina in the lineup here, I guess, on this one. Um, and uh, it's a better spread, right? We've got two couple defenders with the plus seven, Insignia with the plus seven. We've got Osiman again with the plus seven. And in the average league where we didn't get sacked at all as well, um, 
20 goals for Insigne, who actually outscores the Osimhen. So this inverted winger is providing a lot of offense in the tactic. My guess is that perhaps Zelensky, uh, maybe not. Zelensky had three assists and Fabian had 10. So maybe this DLP is supplying uh, Insigne a fair amount, which is actually pretty good. 10 assists from a DLP is a high number in only 36 games. So I do think that is maybe an intriguing little combination here in this tactic. But again, here, Fabian, the, the DLP, the striker, the inverted winger, the CM attack, Piscina, who also had double-digit goals, and a central defender and the right back, all able to put in ratings over seven, which so you can the the average team leagues they did pretty well. So the the balance the in the in the underdog league, it's more of the same. Um you do see a lot of players in the sevens because we had obviously a much better season here. But I'm interested to see Fabian's assists were down a little bit. Piscinas were high though, so um you know, it's just a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. The assists are kind of coming from all over the park. Uh, and, and here, Insigne, 26 goals as the inverted winger. So it does seem like there's a lot of potential here for this inverted winger to be kind of the goal scorer of the tactic. And that's something interesting. And maybe uh, because the DLF is on attack and is not an advanced forward or something like that, that's why that's happening. But now it's your turn. Uh, get involved in the Discord. The link again is in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, you can install that tac that save game file and then put your own tactics in. Like you're not your own tactic, but load up the base tactic, make your five changes to it, and run the sim yourself. And then share some screenshots of how you do in Discord. And maybe if you do well enough, I might ask for a copy of the save game file or some of those screenshots, and I'll share them in a future video. Um, but until then, I'm Stick Piano. You can check me out on Twitter, um, also on Twitch, where I stream a save with Esbier um, in the Danish league, where I'm trying to win the Champions League. And it's been a really fun journey so far. So check me out on all my platforms. All of those links are, again, down in the description. And leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about the series and how the challenge is going for you as well. And we'll see you next time.